I put it up into Riverside.fm, and it says that the Magic Clips feature works best for clips of at least five minutes. So what I want to do is just kind of talk through some tips and tricks that come to mind. Um, but I think and this will probably take the majority of the five minutes is talking about redundancy. I tend to have a tongue twister on that word redundancy. Um, there's a, there's a lot of different cloud services and I know it's pretty common to just pick one and stay with it, but I do like the idea of having multiple services that so you have redundancy when it comes to your video files. So a few of the main ones that come to mind, probably the most common one is your Gmail. So your Gmail comes with 15 gigabytes of free storage. Part of that includes not only your Gmail, but also your Google Drive and your Google Photos. So that storage can be used up pretty quickly if you're using it for for videos. So a um, couple things I've I've done is that when I'm recording from my phone, I like to have an auto upload for Google Photos, but to a Gmail that's only for Google Photos. So I have I have a Gmail that the username is some, something along the lines of some name G photos. And I use that because I'm able to use 15 gigabytes of backup until I have to decide what to do with those decided what to do with those videos. So I have that as one point of redundancy. And then another one that I actually really like, I, I noticed that if you're a prime member, Amazon photos, photos.amazon.com for Amazon prime members gives you unlimited HD photo storage. Now for video, they only give you five gigabytes until you have to start paying and their, their, uh, payment plans, their, their subscription levels are similar to, um, their subscription levels are similar to, um, the Google one storage. So Google one is storage plans that you can, I think there's other features and benefits too, but you can buy it to accompany your free Gmail. Um, but going back to Amazon photos, what I like about it is where most cloud services, the free ones, especially have a 30 day recovery window. I think actually Microsoft OneDrive might even be shorter than that for the recycle bin, but let's say 30 minute recording window is the norm. Amazon photos actually has a 90 day trash history. So that's three months where I like that because if you don't touch the video in three months, chances are you weren't going to do something with it anyway. However, it gives you more than 30 days to go, Hey, what was that video I recorded last month or two months ago? And you can go into your Amazon trash storage and you can kind of get around that five gigabyte upload. And because we're using it as a point of redundancy is whenever we get to five gigabytes, we just delete all the videos in Amazon photos. And then we have from that day until 90 days later to go access those files. Also something I noticed in Amazon photos is even when a photo is in the trash, it lets you play back the video, which I believe from my experience is pretty uncommon because if you put something, a video in your trash, it doesn't make sense for the cloud service to let you play back that video. But from my experience, Amazon photos lets you do that. So, um, that's a couple of things there. So having a separate Gmail that strictly auto uploads your Google photos. So for all the videos that you record on your phone, automatically uploading to a G photos free Gmail. So just make up a username. I put it, I put, I made, I made a username and then I added G photos and then at Gmail. Um, that's partially because Gmails, they don't, you can't make Gmails with the word Google in it. Uh, it says that the name is not, not, uh, not allowed, but those are a couple points there. I also, I like uh, Microsoft OneDrive free accounts only give you five gigabytes of OneDrive storage, but, um, I find that the upload speed is actually pretty good. Cause when you look about, look around online, OneDrive is known to be a slower uploader, but in my experience it's actually been pretty good. So I have a Google photos back, uh, um, 
a free Gmail that's auto uploading to Google Photos. I have a free Amazon account separate from my Amazon Prime account that's uploading there with the 90 day trash history. And then I also have a OneDrive doing the same thing. And then when that gets full, I throw in the recycle bin. I have to confirm though what OneDrive's recycle bin retention policy is. I, it might be as low as 10 days. I'm not totally sure. But as you can see, we have three different points of redundancy and there's actually more that we can do. But even just getting started with these three, I think it allows you to get recording with your phone and not worried about running out of space and then not knowing what to do with videos. Because when you realize you don't have enough space to record a video with your phone, it often takes a long time to upload to the cloud. So if you're just constantly uploading the cloud over time, basically every day, and then especially every every night when your phone's plugged in to the charger, that'll uh, keep several points of redundancy um, at, at low cost too. And then for these free options, it's free. All right, so I made it past the five minute mark. I'm at six minutes now. I'll stop this and I'm gonna try the magic clip feature in, um, in Riverside. Also, I'm not sure if I had the right microphone on, but we'll find out soon enough.